Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying three keto bricks. These were sent to us from Christopher in Texas, so thank you to Christopher. Uh, he has sent us the peanut butter, the mocha cream. And the pumpkin pie. So, I am going to uh, let Kevin start to open this peanut butter uh, while, say, while I all. talk about it. They, I'm going to talk about it. Uh, they are all 1,000 calories per brick. <laughs> so, this, these are intended to be meal replacements. 1,000 calories. Um, even this bag says it's 1,000 calories. So, you can go to their website on ketobrick.com. They're ketogenic friendly, high calorie performance bars. They're totally shelf stable. They're high energy. Um, who would benefit from these? Athletes, high performing individuals, ketogenic eaters, backpackers, and outdoor enthusiasts in need of shelf stability, hard workers, entrepreneurs, and busy individuals, it says. What makes us different? They are produced in-house with zero compromises, built by performers for performers. Legacy is greater than currency. This business was founded to add more value than it takes. Constantly evolving and adapting with new information, we actually listen to your feedback and improve our bricks accordingly. Our bricks versus the competition. I'm if, you, on. if you want to go ahead and open all of these while I'm talking, you can. <laughs> so you've got that one. Now you can go oh. ahead and open the other one too if you want. Um, our bricks versus the competition. We are not a keto snack bar. We are a performance product. The price, it says do the math. Calorie for calorie, we can't be beaten. And I did write down, each brick is $12. So I did not see a price for this bag. This bag um, on their website, at least right now. So if you're watching this a year from now, I don't know what it's gonna look like. But right now, the bricks are $12 each. And these, I only saw them like in a bundle. Like you get bricks and you can get bags. And they're like, one bag is like $45 for the bundle. I don't remember, but something like that. The more you get more, in one bundle you get less than in another one. One's more expensive because you get more. Um, but I didn't see the price for the bags alone. Um, we do not use cheap filler ingredients or loads of sweeteners in our products. Since we are produced in-house, we have complete quality control and do not cut corners to make an extra dollar. We prioritize performance over taste. The bricks just happen to taste really good too. We do not hide behind net carbs. We count total carbohydrates. Guess what's in that bag? A brick? Another bag. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be easier to open. So it's gonna be the same price. It's gonna, I, I it's gonna be twelve dollars as well. I think so. Maybe it's easier for them to sell them in the stores. In the stores, than that. I yeah. would think so too. Yeah, because they can hang those or whatever. Okay. So speaking of the ingredients, it says uh, we use the highest quality ingredients. Period. No allulose, no chicory root fiber, no SOV, which I don't know what that is. No tapioca fiber, no erythritol, no corn fiber, no crap. Um, no crap. The bricks only come in one size, but they can be melted down and put into smaller molds to make bite-sized snacks. So that's what Christopher told me that he does. He said, many people melt it down into silicone molds. I use a bite-sized brownie silicone mold from Amazon. I use the mini bricks as fat bombs, uh, snack bites for the keto diet. So that's how Christopher uses his. Um, the carbs come from trace sources such as the such as the ground flax, protein fiber, raw cacao nibs, and coconut chips, depending on the flavor. They do not add any sweeteners. However, there are small amounts of stevia and monk fruit in some of the ingredients that they use. Uh, the majority of the bricks are vegan. Uh, and made with a high quality plant-based protein powder. Uh, they use an incredibly high quality and easily absorbed pea protein. Uh, they also do not use any soil, soy in any bricks. They are gluten-free. They have a shelf life of a year and a half oh, no. from the production. And they do ship internationally. So, 
Uh, if any of that sounds like it's up your alley, then ketobrink.com and I'm going to link their website in the description below. We've said it before, you know, we don't get anything out of this. No, but Christmas, someone sent it to us and we're trying. We wanted to share the, I want to share as much information as I can with you. And this um, was the first one I don't remember. This is the peanut butter. Okay. I'm just grab a square there. Kind of a powdery, pressed together texture. It not had, a bad texture. It no, it it there's um like with a protein bar you would get some chewiness or something like that. That's not that's not the texture of this. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is. Um, it's like they've taken a protein powder and like compressed it into yes. a brick. And that's what it tastes like, protein powder. Yeah. It's not overly protein powder, though, like no. I've had before. It's not like a protein bar. It doesn't have that funkiness or that bitterness or anything no, like that. No, but uh, it does have the... It, you it has still, a little bit of that flavor. Yes. But it's not like over the top. Right, right. but it's completely different than, than a protein bar. Yeah. I mean, it's just the texture. It's a... Uh, it's easier to chew, even though it might have been. Was it hard for you to cut? No, they're they're they're, they're like powdery. They're okay. They're not they're not hard at all. Matter of fact, there's crumbs everywhere. Yeah. So just know that you want to do this over the counter. So that did you did you feel like I that didn't taste tasted like peanut butter? I didn't think it tasted like peanut butter. It really didn't have much flavor, truthfully at all, except for that kind of healthy that right. bar kind of flavor. Yes, but it doesn't taste like peanut butter. No, no, no. Now the next this one is, is the that. mocha cream. I get a little coffee flavor from that one. And there's little crunchy bits in there. Mm-hmm. That one Yes, I definitely see where that would have a um, more of a, a mocha slant to it, a coffee, um, tastes more like coffee. And you're right, there's little pieces in there mm -hmm. that makes you, it is, but it makes you feel like that it might have coffee in it. Yeah. I don't know that it does, mm -hmm. but that's what it makes you feel like. You still taste that protein. Which is not protein, but there's some kind of... Well, keto, keto bar kind of flavor. It's a plant-based protein powder. Yeah, more or less and like it's a too. protein concentrate. No, I mean, so true. I mean, there is. So it is protein. It just happens to be keto. Right. So you do taste that, but I think that one actually had more flavor than it the did. peanut butter. Oh yeah, the peanut butter one I didn't taste hardly any. Yeah, the peanut butter it was just yeah it was hard to taste. Now the last one that Christopher sent us was okay. pumpkin. And they do not currently have pumpkin on their website. I'm pretty sure he said that was a seasonal. Um, uh, yeah, he said pumpkin pie is a limited seasonal flavor. So it is not currently being offered. Ooh, but strong. it probably will be soon. Lord. <sighs> it burns your throat. It's so strong. The, the, it's the ginger or the nutmeg in there. Wow, that's too strong. It burns, doesn't it? It's just not good. <coughs> it is so. Wow, it's too strong. I'll be surprised if they if people would would want to order that oh, one. Or you'd have to mix that with something else because it's. I mean, it's like burn your mouth. It's like raw. You don't taste the, all the protein flavor that the other ones have had is it's gone. Definitely killed. Because all you are tasting, it's as if you took a little spoon straight from your spice cabinet and you actually ate yeah, that. Yeah, like pumpkin spice. Mix. Yes. Um, I mean, it's, it's not like, strong. yeah, it's not like pure spice, but it may as well be. Yeah. It's the very, very, very strong. I cannot imagine eating that without putting it in something. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't think for a thousand calories, I don't think you would want to put it in something. Yeah, that was a meal replacement, and I'm, exactly. that's all I'm eating. I, you're not. I can't imagine many people enjoying that. No, I just I do. It's just way, way, way too strong. It's the spice. It's overwhelming. So I personally would not get that mm -hmm. again. Um, these um, 
these definitely have a, a market yes. for them. Some people yes. that would buy these. Yes. This is not for the average consumer by any means. I agree. I don't think this is even for the average. Like, I have friends who watch this channel who are on, uh, are doing keto. They're, they have that keto lifestyle. That's, that's all they know is keto. I honestly do not think these are meant for them. I think these are meant for people, like they said, for performance people. Yeah, they're weightlifters or whatever. So people that you see on, what was that show we watched with The Rock? Oh, Titan. The Titan Games. You know, I think that's the kind, you know, if Athletes, you're- Athletes, that kind of Yes, people. if you're an athlete, if you're in the gym all the time and you're doing keto as well, I think that's who these yeah, are geared that's, towards. That's, that's I do not saying. think these are geared towards your average um, keto diet. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, this is not going to be a, a keto kind of thing. That everybody's going to want. They're not bad. No. They're not. They're not bad. But it's not something I would want to eat all the time. And um, the textures are okay. The flavors are decent. You know, it's just. It's just not. It's not it's, most people it, are going to eat all of them. Right. Most of the people that I personally know that are doing keto eat uh, home, a lot of homemade meals. So it still looks like what everybody else is eating. It just, it's it's a lot of meat and, and things like that. So it's a lot of home cooking. And this is not home cooking. No, I think if you're eating protein bars and stuff, this is for you. Yeah, I do too. I do too, I really do. So Christopher, we appreciate very no, no, much always. you sharing these with us. You know, they weren't cheap, they're $12 a piece. But if you go to their website, if these do look interesting to you, because I'm sure a lot of people will find them interesting, please go to their website and check them out. And then you'll see like they have different bundles that you can get and they have other flavors as well. So these are not the only flavor. I should have written those down, but these aren't the only flavors that they have. They have other ones. And like I said, that pumpkin, you're not gonna see it on there, but if you're interested and you check back, if you like those strong spices, then check back probably i would think in like september yeah. and they might have it again yeah maybe if it's melted down it'll chill out yeah it might be a different, different experience yeah. yeah so but you can it says right on their website i looked to their frequently asked questions somebody had said how do i eat this they said you open up the package and you eat it so you can melt it down but by no means do you have no. to do that you can be as you know, standing right on your treadmill and open this up and eat it right there. Uh, Although so, I wouldn't recommend that. No, because it's going <laughs> to be crumbly. crumbly. But I'm just letting you <laughs> yeah, know. Yeah, you can do it anywhere. You don't have to melt it down. Right. So thank you again to Christopher. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If any of you have tried these, let us know. What did you think? Which ones have you had? Let us know what your experience was. And thanks for watching.